Hey, Joey Blue here, and I want to tell you about the trim function inside the SQL language. Um, in this example, we're not going to actually use a table like the employee table here. We're going to do a little trick that you can do in SQL Server, which is just select a column by itself. So I can select hello and just say select and then a string, and it returns that back to me. Now what I want to do is I want to actually put some spaces in front of this and some spaces after this. And if we do that, you can see we've got spaces here and um, down here. And if I copy this, we can actually see those spaces are returned. I'll put two ticks so we can see it. And I paste it back in. You can see those spaces are returned. So what I want to do now is I want to get rid of some of this white space. And that's when we use what's called the trim function. So the trim, in this case, we have an R trim and an L trim. The R trim stands for right trim. So if we do an R trim and then a parenthesis on our little string here, and I execute that, and then I come and I paste it in so we can see what happened. So I'll paste it in here. Let me get rid of all the, the spaces. Let me paste it in. You can see that there is no spaces on that. So we have trimmed the right side of that column. Now, if we want to trim the left side, we use what's called the L trim. And so let's execute that and see what happens. And you can already see that it moved to the left. Let me get rid of that one. I'll copy this, Control C, and I'll paste it in here, Control V. And you can see it trimmed the left side. So what if we want to trim both sides of this? Well, that's easy enough. What we do is we use the L trim and the R trim. So I'll do, you know, right here, the L trim trimmed off the left side, as we can see here. So now I just surround this with an R trim, another parenthesis. And so I have a function within a function. And so to first, it'll do the L trim, which will trim it like this, and then it's going to do the R trim. And let's look at that. And so in order to see that it actually did it, I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to grab it, Control C, paste it in with Control V. And you can see we've trimmed both sides of that. So that's the trim function, which is actually the R trim and the L trim inside the SQL language.